it's your girl Lashana with LE Style. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Of course, where I believe that beauty is first and inside job and mindset is queen. And to my mature queens out there, over 40, over 50, over 60, I am a 53 year old content creator and my life is never, nor my style, is ever gonna be, be uh, defined by a number. Of course, I believe that it's always about uh, stage, is never about age. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and take some of this inside beauty and we're gonna apply it to the outside. And we today are um, gonna be doing brows. Um, this is uh, a little bit different than, of course, my hair videos that I've been putting up here on the tube. Um, but I have been promising an updated brow tutorial. I do have one on my channel currently that I uploaded when I first started my channel two years, two years ago. Um, but I've evolved with my brows since then, of course, um, a little bit, not a lot of it, but a little bit. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do my brows today. And um, we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Um, if you guys are interested in this unit right here, this is a um, tutorial that I, or a wig review that I just put on my channel. I will leave the link for you below. Um, but let's go ahead and get going. So generally when I do my brows, that's why I came up here bare faced, of course. I normally do my brows first. It is a preference of mine. You don't have to start with your brows. You can start after you put your foundation and all of that on. I generally don't like to do it that way. This is just my personal preference. But I always, always have a um, brow pencil. And this one just happens to be by Morphe. It is double-ended. There's a brush on one end, of course, and the pencil on the other end. Um, I also have my flat, well, my flat um, brush, which is the brush or flat tip or flat top, whatever you want to call it, uh, that I use to um, clean up around my brows. It has a very, very flat uh, head. So I do use a brush. I also use concealer. Um, this is what I use. I use a stick concealer and I've been using this black opal concealer for years. But you of course can use um, a liquid concealer. You can use your foundation. You can use whatever is going to work best for you. And I am also, I have also incorporated a brow pen. This one just happens to be by NYX. Um, this is new to me, This not the brow pen, but um, this particular brand, I have not been using NYX. I've, I've been trying different ones since I started using a brow pen, and this is the one that I'm using now. This is called Lift and Snatch, and I don't have my glasses on, but anyway. Um, these are the four items that I am going to be using for my brows. I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I like to start by brushing my brows up. And let me just move up just a little bit because I really, really want you guys to, and I'm going to resituate my mirror here. I want you guys to be able to really see, um, what I'm doing here me a second there we go so we're gonna start by brushing them up now actually um, I don't really I don't do anything to my brows but pluck additional hairs as you can see I don't have a lot of hair um, <laughs> okay that got tangled up in my hair I don't have a lot of hair on my brows so me going to get them arched and, and threaded, and, mm -mm, that makes no sense for me to do that. So um, I didn't clean anything up today. I mean, I could have, but it's not like too bad as far as I'm concerned. So before you start your brows, if you're new to starting your brows, if you're unsure of where to, to start, as far as how far you come down, a good gauge is to take your pencil or something and just to, at the corner of your eye and just go straight up from that corner 
and about here is where you want to mark um, you know start drawing your line and then the corner of your eye right here you want to kind of lay that on the corner right there and that is where you want to to end your brow so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna start to draw that line right there and I'm not doing it hard you don't need to to, to do a hard harsh line it's not necessary now you can go up and form your little your peak I mean you're following you're following your brow is pretty much what you're going to do and that is your brow line so we're gonna go ahead and go to the top of the same brow now generally I mean I don't like my brows super wide I don't like them super thin kind of in between how wide you want them and everything that's really to be determined by you um, and your brow again because you're allowing your brow to be your guide so of course the hair is right here so I generally you generally want to start right above where that hair is and again I'm not drawing a harsh line and I'm not taking it all the way to the end right here either so I'm gonna gonna start just a little bit behind like right here and we're gonna draw down until these two meet and you should be able to see that and so we have the outside of our brow now and so what I generally like to do is take this uh, pencil and just start shading in now you can shade in the intensity in which you shade it in is really really up to you if you want them super dark if you want them lighter I'm shading in just a little because I am using the brow pen um, this is a brow pencil when I get to the front here I'm just doing it very very light because the brow pen is pretty much going to be what I use up in this front area and the brow pen if many of you are not familiar is um, is what they have created and it's been out for some time it's not super brand new um, but I've just been using one within the last year that gives you those hair like strokes um, so that's what we that's what I like to use that for so this is pretty much it for me on this side I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and do the other side Um, drawing my brows on it's funny that <laughs> you can draw on your brows but I love it I wouldn't have it any other way of course the only time I'm really doing this is if I'm making up um, but for the sake of today um, we're gonna go ahead and draw these brows on okay so next is the brow pen now this particular one like I said I have from NYX but again they all serve the same purpose. They all have the same super pointed tip, tip, and it's like a tent, like a, like a, um, like ink. So these tend to go on very, very dark and just be worn. So if you get some of these shades that you normally get for your normal shade, like I normally would do a brunette or dark brown, um, 
I, it, it shows up very dark. So you cannot be heavy handed with this. So just forewarning you. So I am going to start and this is what I normally do. I just kind of fill in, fill in, fill in, fill in. So I am taking, and again, this next one has been not so heavy with the ink just coming out of it. So I want to make sure you can see what I am doing here. So I am doing light strokes up. And if you could see, it's starting to, to fill in. And it looks like hair. So there we are. And it was it's super, super easy. That didn't take a lot. And I don't want to fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. Um, but I mean, you fill it in as much as you want to fill it in. So I am filling in with those hair light strokes. Like so, like that. And I am using a light hand. None of this is like really heavy handed. Um, where you're just pressing and mm, mm, we not doing no mm, mm. We, we're we doing light handed. So everything that we're doing, we, we're doing it light handed. So you don't have to use a lot of force um, with this. So if you can see, that's what I've done with that. So here comes the fun part. The fun part is the cleanup. Now I will tell you as I'm getting this ready, this is where we're gonna get my brush and we're gonna get my um, concealer. I've been using this concealer, I, I it's probably been about 20 plus years. I love it, I mean, it's not the liquid concealer that I use to like conceal under my eyes and stuff, but I do use it stick like if I'm gonna do like a quick uh, look and I have some hyper pigmentation, I'm not wearing foundation, I maybe wanna put on some powder. I will take my, this stick and I will like address like I have an area here and I can't stand this mustache shower, but it, it's not hairy, but I it's, it's like, it's almost like it's a line there. Like it's trying to show up as a mustache. Anyway, I will put a little there and whatever other area and I'll conceal with this and put my powder on. But anyway, I do use it for my brows too. So all we're doing is we are taking our brush and I'm pretty much, you know, getting it on the brush there. And this is why I love the flatness of this particular brush. This uh, particular brush uh, I got from P. Louise. It came in a set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath and we're gonna go on top and we're gonna clean it up. So we're gonna start underneath. And you let your brow be your guide so you're going right underneath what you just did and you may have to do it two or three times you do it as many times as you need to to clean up straighten up and get the result that you want so after I finish doing that, I kind of, you know, take that concealer and just kind of work it in with the brush. Now for the top, I don't generally put as much on the brush. And as you can see, just a little bit because this is 
concealer it tends to be a couple shades lighter than foundation and sometimes it can leave like a little halo that's why some people will take their actual foundation and they will use the foundation on top um, but I don't do all of that I just use less of the concealer I use enough to make give me the effect that I want without having to dip it in my foundation but using your foundation is is fine too so as you can see it, there is no halo there like a little like a little extra I'm gonna clean this up some too because this is ooh -ooh. now you will make some oopsies and some boo-boos like I just hit that part and I'm just is is no big deal we're just gonna go right there and we're gonna fill that right on back in boom bada bing is that easy So now that that is done, I'm going back to my brow pencil and the, the edge with the brush, the edge with the brush, the side with the brush. And I am, and, and this is like super, super light. This is nothing but just a quick little blend. I'm not really doing it over this part because I don't have a lot of hair on my brows and I don't really want to disturb the um, the uh, hairline strokes that I did. Matter of fact, I'm gonna add just a little bit right here. Just looks to be a little bit light. I don't wanna disturb that. So I'm not really going over that part, just the, just the darker parts. And that's just like a quick little making sure that, you know, it's all kind of blended in. But I am going to take this brush as well. I'm going to brush a little bit on the inside right here at the beginning of the brow. I like this part to be a little bit lighter and to kind of fade a little you can see what I'm doing here just a little quick fade I like to take this brush and I'm not you know and this is a preference some people do that some people take foundation and put a little bit right there and all of that, but I don't I don't do that. I just use the brush and I and I use it lightly in this area. And I just fade it out just a little bit. So Pretty much, uh, that is it. Now, I like the way my brows look. And, you know, if this is something that you like and this is something that you want to try, um, somebody is blowing up my phone right now. So please forgive the, uh, the text messages if you could hear it in the background. And I'm just 
kind of lining them up. I'm kind of anal when it comes to my brows, y'all. Um, I just like them to look a certain way, and this is the way that I like them to look. Now, are they perfect? No. Um, some days I feel like I do 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 my brows better than others. Um, your brows will never be twins. I have not seen anyone's brows that look exactly the like alike. All the mine aren't alike. Your brows um, are normally more like sisters. They, they're not going to be twins. So if they don't look just alike, then they don't look just alike. But do the best that you can, you know. And this is what I've adopted. I do love using the look of the brow blade pen or the tent to make the like hair like strokes. I believe that works better for me um, near the front. I used to kind of try to draw them on with the pencil, but it didn't give me this effect. Um, but anyway, this is what I do. Um, and these are the products that I've used, um, four products. Now I also have this uh, brow gel. Brow gel pretty much, and this one is about Juvia's Place. I, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't use it all the time. Half the time I forget that I have it. Um, but a lot of people use this to kind of set their brows in place, which means that um, they use it, you know, so their hair won't move and it'll just set them. It'll keep them set. It'll, it's kind of like some extra preventative measures uh, of getting them messed up or, you know, them moving or, I mean, whatever. Honestly, I mean, I bought it when I bought the their brow pen, um, and I honestly really don't use it. But this is something that a lot of people do use, so it's just a matter of preference. You don't have to use it, but if you do decide to use it, you don't have to brush it on like that. As you can see, everything that I do with my brows is super light. I'm not doing any type of harsh movements because I don't want them to show up heavy and like, oh, you drew them on. Obviously, I drew them on, but honestly, a lot of people, they don't know that. <laughs> so I want them to look natural, even though I want them to be styled. I want them to be perfected. Um, I'm not into the messy brow look. If that's your deal, then great. This, uh, this tutorial or this update, uh, this video is not necessarily for you, but for those who are interested, and um, have been interested to see how I get my brows the way that I get my brows. That is it. Um, they generally don't take me a very long time because of course I'm used to doing this. I've been doing my brows for many years, um, but those are the products that I use. Everything will be listed for you below, of course, with links for purchase if you desire to do so. Um, and if you guys have any questions about it, just let me know. Um, if you're interested in more makeup content, let me know. Um, I would love to be able to start implementing more makeup tutorials or videos or reviews of certain makeup items on my channel um, along with the wig content. So you guys let me know if, if you want to see uh, more makeup tutorials. So um, with that, I want to leave you with this. Uh, of course, my prayer for you is always that you would stay safe and be blessed, um, that you will uncover and discover the purpose and intention in, in which God created you for. Uh, so you can step into your purpose, of course, and get on the path to destiny and enjoy a life of fulfillment um, in which God always intended uh, for you from the very beginning. Um, I do pray that uh, you have a blessed holiday. I believe I am recording this the day before. It is the day before Christmas, um, but you won't see it. Uh, but anyway, it's still, it will still be the holiday season. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you all. I pray that your days with your friends and your loved ones, of course, is filled with much love, joy, and peace. And of course, until the next time, until I see you guys um, on the next time, I'll see you guys soon. Be blessed. Bye.